First, we're going to start off and give all praise and glory to the two. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, or Kakodash, double honest apostles and elders and GMS, and brothers that sincerely they go on this work. Kind. Perfect. And we're going to hop right into it, man, like the title says. if the uh, And it's in quotes because, man, this devil isn't white, he's red, man. Right? His name of uh, his biblical nationality, so called white man biblical nationality, is, uh, is Esau Edom. All right? And it says, if the so-called white man, not the not the devil, then who is, man? And this is based off, of, I'm going to pull these pictures up. This is what this is based off of, man. It's just National Geographic. Fifty most influential figures of the Bible. Clearly, they got, look at, look at the image they got there. They, they all all these images got something to come. This is this is Moses, right? This is Moses, right? Hey, can you grab that when he said the Egyptian uh, helped me when when uh, he helped out the two women? When he got we got out of Egypt. Exodus the first. It's like it may be the first chapter, maybe like three or something. I'm not sure. Not the third verse, like maybe one, two, three. It's early on. It's right after he uh. Uh, I got you. Uh, two and it's the second chapter, it's lucky, not the third chapter. The second chapter, you can start in, um, uh, start at 14. We're gonna read to 19. And can you grab the Count we put his hand in his bosom and pulled it out. This is Exodus 2 and 14. And he said, Who may be a prince and a judge over us and intense thou to kill me as thou killest the Egyptians? And Moses feared and said, Surely this thing is known. Now, when Pharaoh heard this thing, he sought to slay Moses. But Moses fled from the face of Pharaoh and dwelled in the land of Menedi. And he sat down by a wall. Now the prince of Menedi, Media, 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 has seven daughters. And they came and drew water and fell. I mean, feel the tote to water their uh, father's flock. And the shepherd came and drew them away, but Moses stood up and helped them and watered their flock. And when they came to Rock Riffle, their father, he said, How is that ye are changed? So, so today, and and they said, and an Egyptian will, uh, I mean, deliver us out of the hand of the shepherd, and also drew water enough for us and watered the flock. Right. So they referred to Moses. They called him an Egyptian. They mistake them for an Egyptian because he was a dark skin. I'm sure he had the Egyptian garment on and, and the way this looks. This is. Him coming straight out of Egypt, so I'm sure he, he probably had he didn't have his beard probably out either because he grew up in Pharaoh's house. He grew up in Pharaoh's house as as the grandson of Pharaoh. All right, and they refer to him as what as an Egyptian. Everybody knows that the fucking Egyptians are black as hell, man. All right, and Esau make the damn move like Ten Commandments. What they do? They put Pharaoh as Esau, the Egyptians as Esau. Clearly, they got Moses right here as Esau. All right, this is what they do. Okay. But the Egyptians look dark skinned, just like the Israelites, man. Two separate nations, but still dark. Because it's a separation, even physically, but they still got that dark melanin. Okay? This is Genesis 50 and 7. And Joseph went up to bury his father, and with him went up all the servants of Pharaoh, the elders of his house, and all the elders of the land of Egypt. And um, I'm going to jump down because they was going to take uh, Jacob up, right? 
verse 11, our forefather Jacob. And when the inhabitants of the land, the Canaanites, saw the morning and the four of a tide, they said, this is a grievous morning to the Egyptians. Wherefore, the name of it was called Abel, uh, Abel Mizraim, which is beyond Jordan. So they referred to that group of people, which was Israelites mixed with the Egyptians. They came more as well. They called them all white Egyptians. They were they looked alike, man, as far as the skin goes. Okay? They called them Egyptians. And then this numbers is finna you got it? Is it numbers or exodus? Like exodus. Exodus. Uh, exodus four and six. And the most high said, furthermore, to him, put now thy hand into thy bosom. And he put his hand into his bosom. And when he took it out, behold, his hand was leprous as snow. Wait a minute, this hand is already black and melon. This hand is already pale. All right. So, so what we? How would that work? That's why he never showed that sin in the Ten Commandment movies. They take that out. Cause he already fucking leprous right here. Because the Israelites had the Israelites had and do have melanin. Okay. Go ahead. And he said, "Put thine hand into thy bosom again." And he put his hand into his bosom again and plucked it out of his bosom, and behold, it was turned again as his other flesh. As his other flesh. All right, so it went back to its original color, which is opposite of this. It's opposite of this. All right, so that's Moses right there, man. I don't remember who this image was. It's just a mo they just put their own images there for everybody, everything. That shit right. Why they naked? Esau. <laughs> All right. The scriptures say, look not upon the nakedness of another man. I don't remember who this one was neither, but it's just the same thing. More pictures of Edom. And this this one is really the one I wanted. All right, and this is Solomon. And look how they got him. And everybody in there, everybody right there, just pale as fuck. Let's get Wisdom of Solomon, the first chapter. Okay. This is Wisdom of Solomon. And we can get Jeremiah 14. Uh, are you? Are you? You mean Song of Solomon? Song of Solomon. Song of Solomon, uh, first chapter. One and one. One and one. And then we're going to jump down. God, they had to say, that, no, nah, that's a poem uh, 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 from a woman. No, yeah. let's see what it say. God, Song of Solomon, one and one. The Song of Songs, which is Solomon's. So this is Solomon that wrote this. This is his song. Okay? Now you can jump down. Bro, for sure. God, uh, Verse 5, I'm black but comely, O ye daughters of Jerusalem. And what I don't see no blackness on none of these, these faces right here. Let's see. I see pale. All this is pale. All right, but it said he's black and comely, you know, like they say, dark and, and dark and lovely. He said the word that for black is shah, shahar, meaning uh, yeah, black, jet. Mm -hmm. I'm black but comely, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kadar, as the curtains of Solomon. Uh, so a physical appearance, man. All right, in yeah. fact, read one more. So let you China. further know it's physical appearance, because the son of kissed me. China. That word for Kadar, by the way, means dark. Mm -hmm. A son of Ishmael. So I suppose uh, you got dark-skinned Ishmaelites, too. That's right. I, I know some of them. God, verse yeah, six. hey, everybody got that dark skin except for this group of people right here, which is the mark of leprosy, man. All right, the mark of Cain because Esau Edom is the people of the Lord's curse. This man is the devil. We're going to get the precepts to prove it, man. All right, this deception that we're going into right now is to prove the word devil only means deceiver. All right, that Christianity shit is madness, man. Get that out your head. All right, the devil, of course, there's a spiritual Satan, but there's a physical counterpart. And this man right here is that physical counterpart. Esau Edom is the wicked. And he's the devil. And we're going to get the precepts to prove it. And this deception is showing it. Look not upon me because I am black. Because the sun hath looked upon me. My mother's children were angry with me. They made me the keeper of the vineyards. But my own vineyard have I not kept. And King Solomon never went to slavery. So this is poetic. It's going to us going to captivity. At the hands of our own brother. The Esau Edom put us in slavery. According to Lamentations, he'll be our last captive. All right? And it said, what? The sun has looked upon me, man. I'm black. We got that melanin, man. Hey, like they say, melanin popping. You know? That's what's happening. All right? Plain and simple, man. And that word for black right there, Shakar, 
car, car off, blackish. John, swarthy. Black. Swarthy. That was where swarthy means black. Uh, this Jeremiah 14 and 2. Due to mourning and the gates thereof language, they are black into the brown, and the crowd of Jerusalem is gone up. Right. So we come in all the shades of brown, man. You got black dirt, you got brown dirt. We come in the shades of the ground, man. All right. So we come from light to dark skin. But uh, this is not our original appearance right here, man. This is madness. You know, this is this is fucking folly, man. This that's the work of a devil, man. Uh, uh, this Job thirty and thirty, but they they want to say Job was so called white man. My skin is black upon me, and my bones are burnt with heat. Which, which it, letting you know, which letting you know, he said, "Hey, man, I'm a, I'm a, I'm dark and angry. Like you know how a fucking." How we get mad sometimes we get mad we get vested in the spirit they got that they got a phrase for it called the angry black man yeah that's so, what they refer to it exactly so tell you man i don't see where how could you say how could you say his skin is black but you know in that new international they gonna say bro like, yeah you know which is wickedness man just show you how y'all try to uh switch it up and then in jeremiah 14 and 2 y'all literally took Black out, just took it out of there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Demonic man, we got that dang seven. Uh, dang you seven. Uh, nah. Uh, so verse nine. It said, "I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the ancients of, of days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery flame." And his wheels as burning fire. Kind of, so it gives a description of how the most high will even look. You know, the Lord is everything. He's all. But uh, uh, if he was to appear in a human, in a man form, that's how he would look, man. Said he had woolly hair. All right. Who got, what's woolly hair, man? That's talking about the texture, the so-called Negro texture of hair. Okay. And it said, well, Yahweh Shai is the image of the most high. So let's get this. Daniel 10 and um, 5. And I lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with fine gold of Uphaz. His body also, his body also is like the barrel, and his face as the appearance of lightning. All right, and that barrel is green. So he had on a green garment. His face was shining, and his eyes the lamp of fire, just like it describes it in uh, a Revelation. And his arms, the parts you can see, his arms and his feet, like in color to polished. Brass and the voice of his words, like the voice of a multitude, lining directly up with revelation. So, the Bible gives a plain description of how the Messiah looks, how the Israelites look, all right, how the, the whole all the hosts of heaven look, man, all right, which would be men of color, okay. But yet, this devil goes and put this, this, this imagery out there, goes and put this imagery out there and pull it back up. Pull it back up. And then put these images in the scriptures and say, this is King Solomon. All right? These are the Israelites. That's Moses. 50 most influential figures in the Bible. This is Noah. That's madness, man. But the Bible says contrary, man. It's all proof. This man is the devil. All right? Uh, we can get that Job 9.24. Uh, it was Job 9.24. It says, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. And that's, what, that's what we was looking at. We watched them take the, because Psalms 82 and 1, it says, the most high said in the congregation of the gods. All right, let me just get it real quick. Because let's see who these judges are. This is uh, Psalm 82. And uh, I'm, I'm going to start at one. The Mosiah standeth in the congregation of the mighty. He judged amongst, among the gods. How long will he judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked? Say, love. So these are the judges, man. These, these, these are uh, mighty, man. These mighty men, these gods. Who's these gods? Verse six. I have said ye are gods, and all of you are the children of the Most High. So it's talking about his children. Who are his children? The Israelites. Exodus, the fourth chapter. All right. So it said, what? We are those judges. They took and put their images of the Israelites, 
They put the image as the main judge, Yahweh, put the image as the judge under that who received all judgment, which Yahweh shy. All right, so this man is what? The wicked. Because it say what? Read the verse over. It is Job 9, 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Right. So if this man ain't the wicked, the one that, where the Bible, look, the Bible tells you that the, the most high son looks like a so-called Negro. They went and put their image over that. Only a wicked motherfucker would do that, man. And promote it and push it to the world. The whole world is, is believing this madness, man. But that's what the scriptures say. It said the devil be loose for a season, all right, to deceive the nations. He's done that. Now the world look at him as uh as a god. Because to be uh, to put your to be the uh, uh the sons of God, to be that image, that would make you a god. Like we read in Psalms 82. So they put themselves as the sons of the most high. And they call themselves God now. All right? But really, he's the devil. Plain and simple. Yes, sir. Yeah, quick precept. First Maccabees 3 and 47. Then they fasted that day and put on sackcloth and cast ashes upon their heads and rent their clothes and laid open the book of the law wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. All right, who was ruling back then? Who was ruling over us, man? This was done. We were in Greek, uh, Greek oppression. These same Edomites, all right? These same Edomites that's ruling now, was ruling there. What they do, put their images there. And they haven't changed. Now they got complete dominion over the world, and that image is pushed upon the whole planet, man. All right? But that's prophecy. Second Thessalonians, the second chapter and um, the third verse. That's why Job said, if not, where who is he? Because it says what? And no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, which is us losing our heritage. We fell away from who we were, all right, uh, from, the, from the top to the bottom. And that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition. And that man of sin is talking about what? That wicked one, the devil, all right? And, and, and uh, it's a it's a actual people on earth. Because what happened in Genesis? The Lord told Cain that thou, if thou uh, go after sin, thou shalt be the ruler of it. All right? And that's the devil. That's Satan. He so Edom is over sin, man. That's why he pushes sin across the world. He, 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 he promotes it and pushes that agenda of homosexuality. Now the whole world is riding that way. And that's just one ex extreme example. But he's done that on so many levels with wickedness. All right? Women live. Had the bitch night ran twerking on top of a damn light pole. That's a fucking disgrace, man. All right, that's a fucking disgrace. LGBTQ, XYZ, every damn well. Yeah. All right, they push that on the world, man. They push that uh, atheism on the world. The Big Bang Theory. With, uh, with no fucking proof. They, and they put theory right there. The son of perdition, man. He's the damn son of destruction. That's what's coming for him. The only brain destruction, he's about to get it for himself now. For his lies, his deceit, his treachery, his violence. Who opposed it and exalted himself above all that is called the most high, all that is called power. So he's against all this stuff. He's against what's really truly written in the Bible. Why well, he pushed those things, man, those false doctrines and philosophies. Then he'll put his own damn image there. Or that is worship, so that he as the most high, sit in the temple of the most high, show himself that he is the most high. So he's against actual religion and, and, and not, you know, in the sense of what they're going to. He's against holiness. And true, but then he'll put himself as the image of holiness and truth. Who else has done that? All right, who else has done that? Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. And now you know what withhold it that he might be revealed in his time. And now is the time to be revealed, man. And this so-called white man, all right, who's not white, he's red. And his biblical nationality is Esau Edom. He is the wicked. He is that son of perdition. He is the devil. All right, for the mystery of iniquity doth already work. And who was ruling back then? Rome. It just one time to be fully revealed. Now was that time. So we at the end. Edom, you're going down, man. Mm -hmm. Only he who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. So let you know that this, this, this man is called what? The wicked. He is the devil. Even him who's coming is after the working of Satan. Break right the 
So the title fits. This man is the devil. He's Satan. He's a deceiver and a human adversary. That's what Satan means, adversary. With all power and signs and lying wonders and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness and them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth but they might be saved. And for this cause, the most I should send them strong delusion. They should believe a lie. But they all might be damned to believe not the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness. All right. So that's this man's job to deceive, to deceive, to be a deceiver. Whoever follows after him is so they can be destroyed. All right. Point blank, period. The so-called white man who is Esau Edom is the wicked. We can get Malachi 1. Just to back that up real quick. Uh, I got a clue going on. Um, this is Micah 2 and 1. So right? I got, let's not got come out real quick. Okay. Just for that, that precept in that one part, that wicked part. So I said, uh, it's Malachi 1. Start at 3. Uh, verse 3. And I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will receive. He's that dragon. You read Revelation, talks about the beast that comes up. That dragon that's talking about the nation of Edom. All right. That, that Satan that was loose was talking about Edom coming out the Caucasus Mountains after being locked up uh, for a thousand years. Because after the Roman Empire fell, it became what? The Holy Roman Empire, the Byzantine Empire. And that's when we were ruling. So called Negroes were ruling. And this devil was chased to the Caucasus Mountains. Then he came back out and started to gain power again. He got the papacy. He became, you know, got the seat of the Pope. And then from there, he, he started fucking us up. He got control again and put his own images up. Okay? But let you know right there, he is that dragon. Okay? Keep going. Time. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Because our own fail. And that, that, that beast who uh, deadly wound was healed. He said he's going to return and build. All right? That was that deadly wound being healed. Go ahead. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build. But I will throw it out. So America is, is it, it came up, became real great, and now the Lord is going to throw it down. That's why the prophets out here speaking against this devil, exposing for who he is. Okay. And if I can say, man, if you look at the slavery plantations, all of them had those Roman, Roman pillars in, in the front of them. Yeah. Hey, just like uh, those Roman pillars, we only call them Roman pillars because that's what used to see in them, but they had that in Mount Petra. Yeah. All right, going back to their cave, their cave dwelling days. That's what you know, like it says, no, but die he that dwelleth in the class of the rocks, proving that the so called white man is Edom, Mount Petra, they had it in uh, Mount Sierra. All right, and in the Caucasus Mountains, they got though they got them there and they got the fucking eagle. All right, because that's their bird and that's their style of uh, uh, infrastructure, man. Yeah, more. Yep. Uh, they said they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness. There you go. Keep one more, one more. And the people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. The people against whom the Lord have indignation forever, man. The border of wickedness. Esau, Edom is the wicked, the devil. All right, coming after the power of Satan. All lying wonder signs and, and, and uh, uh, deceivableness, man. The motherfucking devil. Who else could it be? When the Bible plainly gives descriptions and they went ahead and completely went against it, man. Only a wicked motherfucker can do that, man, because they got the power to do so. It's in their hands. Uh, uh, this is uh, Micah 2 and 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it's in the power of the hand. Which one of the practices they did by doing the item of um, the item common class. They know what the um, real images and putting up their images. That's all them doing their wickedness. Um, verse 2, and they cover fields and take them by valleys and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. So that's why they did that, man, to take our heritage away. They oppressed our heritage, who we are. You know, you uh, watch them old uh, slave movies how they used to... Uh, Roots, or uh, how they was uh, beating uh, Kunta Kinte, made him change his name to Toby. You know, mm -hmm. you know, beating our, beating our heritage, I stole it, painted over everything. They've been doing this for a long time, man. Mm -hmm. And the Lord's bringing destruction for these things, man. 
like it says, the the the, the, Lord, the Lord have indignation forever. Or is it going to get destroyed by the uh, the fire of his mouth first, which is us speaking his truth, and then the brightness of his coming? How is Shah's coming to eat him down? Who is this with dyed garments coming from Basra, man? The Lord is coming to take this devil down for all his devilish acts, man. It's um, Isaiah 34 and 6. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia, which is the Greek word St. Edom. Idum is the Greek word St. Edom, so I'm read it over. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia and upon the people of my curse to judgment. Our Esau is that wicked seed, man. All right? He is the devil, man. Plain and simple. Y'all got anything? Kind of quick, quick definition. Uh, this got this word apotheosis, borrowed from the late Latin, transformation into a god, deification. God, God, that's what he, that's what he worked to make himself become, man. God. Putting up his image, saying he got all this infinite wisdom. Speaking against the things the Lord said, Esau will tell you the weight of the world. They, they, you just take a big ass scale to go weigh the world, man. That's madness. This is Isaiah 14 and 12. How thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How thou cut down to the ground, which did weaken the nation? But thou hast said in thy... Hey, so like, who did that? Who went across the world and fucked the, the nations up? The, the actual devil himself? Did the devil come and put the nation in subjection? Make them get on the central banking system, man? Get on a fiat system, man? A damn debt-based system? Follow my credit? Putting this... this Damn demonic ass, uh, get get the Western mindset spirit out there. Get with Western medicine. The devil. Satan himself didn't do that. It happened in man form. Lucifer's talking about the uh, light bearer, man. Who is that? The least of this world. All right? Them that got that so-called hidden knowledge. What's, what some would call the Illuminati. You know? Uh, but really, hey, they, they just fucking eat them, man. They ain't shit. Uh-huh. For thou has said in his heart, I will ascend into the into the heavens. I will exalt my throne above the stars of the most high power of God. I will sit also upon the mountain of the congregation in the side of the north. And that's hey, that's who, who, where we at. We over here in North America and who 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 um, opposes and uh, exalts itself above, above that is the mark of stars in heaven, which is us, Esau. And he um made he went into the heavens, you know, making himself like he a guy got the satellite dishes, watch it down, like mm -hmm. he like he the most out battle. He watch everything, he control everything. He want to put a chip in you. That is that the only person who you could say did that is the so called who they call white people. Mm -hmm. You know, ain't nobody else did that on the planet. Mm -hmm. I will ascend above the highest of the clouds. I will be like the most high. And that's exactly what he did. Mm -hmm. He made himself like the most high power. And he got to get destroyed for that and judged for that. And you can't get around it, man. Like, what, it's no way in hell you can't say this ain't that he ain't the devil. It's no way in hell you can't say he the one who painted over the image. It's no way in hell you can't say he's the enemy of us. They, it's, you can't get around it. He did everything that the scripture said he was going to do, which is proved that this Bible is real and it condemns him. It's plain and simple. It keeps going, though. <laughs> That's going to go into his destruction. Yeah. In fact, a uh, quick point, that verse 6, it, it tells you this is a proverb, so this is a wise saying, man, all right, against the king of Babylon. Just talking about the rulers of what? Modern Babylon. Revelation calls this place uh, modern Babylon. And in Psalms 137, it calls what? The daughter of Babylon, Esau, Edom. So this is going into Esau, Edom right here. Not some Lucifer, this spirit that's just in hell waiting to poke you with a pitchfork or some weird shit. Man, that's not in the Bible, man. Uh -oh, uh -oh. All right? Uh -oh, right, Apollyon in hell ready to punch you in your face. <laughs> Come on, man. If I can say through the spirit, that's why they call it the, the Renaissance, all right? Renaissance meaning the rebirth. Kind. So they, yeah. they knew through the spirit that they had, had been given back power. Yeah, that goes to that Malachi 1 and 4. Yeah. They, they came back in. They was reborn. Let's build again. It's that time. You're right. Yeah. 
and that's where, where, where everything started. The, the Borgias, all right, the, the uh, Sistine Chapel with uh, Leonardo da Vinci, all the false science and shit mm-hmm. that he was coming out with. That's when they got the Papacy. Uh, uh, was it Pope John the Sixth? It's not John. Uh, fuck. Well, uh, I'm so mad. It there, is the there. sixth, though. Okay. I, I, hold on. You're not talking about Pope uh, Borgia, right? Yeah. God, okay. And then his son, his son's image being created as yeah, an image. I think it was Pope Alexander. Uh, Pope Alexander. It's and Alexander. And his son, Cesare Borgia, being shown. Yeah, as Pope Alexander the sixth. Why <laughs> Alexander? Because they have giant sign. Pope Alexander the sixth. That's when they got control again. And back then, the papacy had more power than the motherfucking king of England. Man. Exactly. All right, because they, they're supposed to remember when Jake was ruling. It was called what the Holy Roman Empire. You know, Jake got we got that connection to the Lord. Like it says, we have um, you know, our people in general. They got that zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. So the Pope had that power. So when Esau got up and then used that power, all right, to gain control over the world. Man, he put out crusades. He got strength to mad violence, man. Mad violence, and part of that violence, what he started doing, putting up his images of his son, all right, of, of his sons, his daughter, or his own people, and then forcing the world to follow that image, man. Now we hear where everybody think that the Messiah, all right, whose name is Yahweh Shai, not Jesus, the letter J didn't exist in 1634, all right, that Yahweh Shai is this pale-faced devil with blonde hair. When it said he's a dark-skinned man with woolly hair, all right, in a deep-ass voice, man. Uh, back in Isaiah 14 uh, and 15, yea, thou should be brought down to hell to the side of the pit. They that see thee ner- uh, shall narrowly look upon thee. So let you know they're talking about hell and the actual you die and you go to hell. No, it's talking about him going down, man. He's then brought down to the ground. That word hell just means grave. And the Hebrew word is shot wall. Uh-huh. They, but they, they nearly looking down, they squinting their ass. Hold on, that's happening. Hey, these, that's why the <laughs> nations, they, these nations watching this economy fall. They watch this devil lose power. And what you got? Articles always coming out. America can't be the superpower of the world no more. They ready to watch this bitch crumble and come against it. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. And consulted thee, saying, "Is this the man that made the earth to tremble? The man, the man, not the spirit." Go ahead. And did shake kingdoms that made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof that opened not the houses of his prisoners. Hey man, who else did that, man? Hey, the, the, the so-called white man, he built the atomic bomb, man. He blew what, what, what the Hebo, Shim, and Nagasaki. Mm-hmm. Man. He blew that shit up, man. <laughs> like, come on. I mean, he, he fucked them nations up. He was shaking kingdoms, man. Mm-hmm. Um, he said he ruled with a continual stroke. Yeah. That's up, up above. You know what I'm he ruled with a continual stroke. And then Jeremiah calls Babylon a hammer the whole earth, man. Who's done that? Who's run across the globe and just fuck shit up? You get down with me, I'm going to jack you up. Man, you still get down with me. I'm still going to fuck you up some. Uh-huh. And he, yep, and he, like you said, yeah. And he ain't opened the doors for us. He, he let us, we had to sleep in huts and shit, man, while they slept in the big cribs. Right. And, and we, they still didn't let us free. Yep. Never told us who we were. They never let us out of their fucking grass. We need a damn passport to travel to travel the world. That's madness, man. Yep. That's that's another part of the plan, God. He needs to keep tabs on it at all times. Uh-huh. Then, uh, Exodus 21, and then if you're still of a man, still be found in your head, you should surely be put to death. Uh-huh. Yeah, so hey man, you gotta you gotta get put to death one way or another, you ain't getting away from the judgment, you know. Um uh, and all the kings of the nations, even all of them, lied in glory, every one of them in, in, the, in his own house. But thou art cast out, or out of that thy grave, like an abominable branch, and as the rem, remnants of those that are slain, thrust through with a sword. That go down to the stones of the pit as a cragus uh, trotted under uh, feet. Car- carcass trotted under feet. 
So yeah, man. Um, hey, it's it's over for you now, man. Everybody know who you are now. Everybody know you the devil, <coughs> and you about to get destroyed. And, get, and this place is pretty much done. So I keep going to one. Oh, uh, car. Two two actually. Now. Thou shall not be joined with them. God, because this is going to Esau. We would have been completely taken out of earth. For the crime that Esau has done, so these are the nations after they served eight thousand years of slavery and, and judgment under us, man. They're going to get their lands back. All right, but Esau, Edom, you ain't going to get that chance, man. You're going to be taken out the earth completely, man. You a fucking problem. Isaiah 26, 10 says, you show favor unto the wicked. All right, uh, he still won't do good. Even in the land of upright, he won't behold the face of majesty, man. If we allow him to get free, you know, and uh, get his own land after the thousands of slavery, he'll still try to figure out how to overthrow us even when we get the kingdom. Even though it would be impossible and futile, he'll still be wicked and trying to do shit, man. He don't got to get the fuck destroyed after his thousands of slavery. And that's what it's going into. All right, like it says in Sirach, he's going to go from the, uh, from the curse to destruction. So he's going to get the Deuteronomy 37 put on him. Same curses we suffer in Deuteronomy 28 chapter, starting the 16th verse on down. All right, 15 verse on down. He's going to suffer those curses, and after those curses, he's going to finish in his destruction. So he, this this kingdom is falling. He's going to slavery. He's going to be wiped out the fucking earth, man, completely eradicated. Total annihilation. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, back to Isaiah 14 and 20. Thou shalt not be joined with them in burial. Because thou hast destroyed thy land and slain thy people. The seed of evildoers should never be renowned. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquities of their fathers, that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the faces of the world with cities. For I will rise up against them, saith the Lord Yahweh hopes, and Cut off from Babylon the name. Oh, let you know who is it talking about the whole time. All right, that mystery Babylon revelation. What's the mystery? The same as Second Thessalonians, the second chapter you read. That mystery of iniquity, that Esau Edom, the wicked, is that ruler of New Babylon. Plain and simple, man. Now you don't fucking believe in the Bible, oh fucking well, man. This is what's happening. Everything the Bible was written, all right, has come to pass. We got our asses put in slavery. Shit, it said we're gonna get put in slave ships. That happened. And what what else has happened? The fall of this damn world, this country, man, this uh economy in this world, man. This world system. Yeah. Damn the world currency's going down, the US, the petrodollar is going out the window. That's James the fifth chapter. The Lord is performing his work. And soon the world is finna see that we are right, we're the Israelites. This man is a devil. We're about to reign for fucking ever. This man's gonna be abolished for fucking ever, man. And cut off. And yeah, I'm fucking cursing, man. <laughs> and cut off from Babylon the name and remnant and son and nephew, saith the Lord Yahweh. So he ain't going to have nothing. Through. <laughs> That's something not. That's something else, right? Uh, nah. Hey, so, man, if, if this man ain't the devil, who the fuck is, man? Hopefully, this was edifying. All praises, honor, and glory, too. Double honor to the apostle, that's great millstone. And sounds like your brother's doing this thing in sincere and truth down charity. And just for any new people that may catch it, you know, call a lawyer means all praises. All right, lot two. Yahweh was then heavenly father. Baha Sham is in the name. Yahweh Shah is the only name of begotten son. And Racha Kodash means Holy Spirit, literally translated spirit holy. Racha spirit, Kodash holy. Shalom and a Baba Ball.